Guys, what's going on, man? Welcome back to another episode of the wonderful The Arsenio ZSL Podcast. Today is another massive special. So again, on Test Glider, a lot of things are behind the paid wall. And again, for those of you who actually uh, listen to my podcast and stuff like that, I'm not really a big fan of Test Glider because whoever these creators are, uh, they kept it. I don't know. They they did it and created tests not based on the actual ETS TOEFL test. So the rhetorical purpose questions are absolutely awful because they come two sentences after. That's not how the actual TOEFL is. So again, I mean, do I see it as a little bit of extra practice in terms of the reading and stuff like that? I mean, it's debatable because a lot of really bad answers on there. But nonetheless, um, on here, the, I love the integrateds. Okay, the integrated essays are phenomenal on this website. So, but other than that, everything else is dog shit. But nonetheless, I did a, I, guys, with my new structure, this is all about my new structure. The 37 minute video is available, okay, for $5 a month. Okay, supporters of the podcast, you guys get it. All right. Um, also, if you guys just don't want to support $5 a month and you just want the video, you can buy it directly. Make sure you follow me or email me or whatever it is in the description down below. You can fo follow and see all my different things. But man, I wrote 530 words, 190 unique words. We're talking about an absolute behemoth of an essay. If I were to do now, I'm not trying to tell you guys, as I told my student today, I was like, listen, your goal is not to write that many words. If you could get 375 and get me about 150 unique words, you got it. But with this new structure that I have, and the structure, you can find it on my website. It's just, well, it's actually $30 now. Man, if you guys do this, you will get massively massive high scores. Because guess what? I'm the fucking best when it comes to this. I was actually in a really dog shit, uh, <laughs> I wanted to give you guys this. I was really in a dog shit group. Um, it's called TOEFL Group, 165,000 followers. They suspended me from uh, uh, commenting. Uh, because these are what these garbage groups are all about, right? But nonetheless, there are a lot of people trying to get free shit in there. And, you know, me, I just go in there and then I just run all up and down people because they're not really my market. I don't do it just to, like, make myself look big and stuff. But a lot of these people, this is what I used to do back in 2001, give a lot of free content, but no one ever gave me anything. So when... Uh, there was a girl that didn't need, and I want to give you guys this last story before we get into it. There's a lot of things I'm explaining to you today. Um, there was a girl that actually followed me and she replied to my IG story. She's like, Hey, are you a TOEFL coach? And I'm just like, okay, who is this? Because obviously, yes. And if you refer word of mouth, you definitely will know who, who I am and stuff like that. But nonetheless, it was just really weird because she started asking me a lot of questions. And I'm like, okay, you're asking me a lot of questions. I don't know why you're asking me these. She's like, okay, how much is this? Okay, how much are the courses? What are your video courses at? Okay, what about this? What about that? She said, I need this $5 one. And then she just kept time wasting. And then one morning I woke up and I realized, I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just gave her a free competency video. And it's crazy because I was under the influence that she was referred by one of her friends. And as a matter of fact, she probably wasn't. She came from that garbage ass TOEFL group in terms of punk ass people trying to get free shit. I hurry up and blocked her and, took, and just restricted her access to my videos. Because those types of people, if you don't know me by podcast or YouTube, get the fuck out of my face. Like if you, no, no offense, no offense. I love you guys. But again, a lot of people listen to my podcast, but no one really actually converses with me. There are probably millions of people Okay. Oh, hundreds of thousands who have listened to me over five years and they've gotten their TOEFL scores, but only about five of them ever came to me over the course of a half decade saying, oh my God, thank you so much. You changed my life. I got my score because of you. Big shout out to my folks from Taiwan. Other than that, people listen and then they just vanish and they go away. So that's why I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put more exclusive content, the really good stuff behind the paid wall. So you guys are going to get a lot of you know, some of the things that I normally do and whatnot, but at the same time, if you want the great stuff and you are willing to take yourself to that next level, you know exactly how to do it. So here is just a little two minute video for you, okay? Me talking about the introduction. Hey, it's available on YouTube, but you cannot see it. But if you want the full course, the full new course, the new integrated st uh, template structure, $30. There it is. All right. And then, of course, if you want just this video, it's $5. If you want to donate $5 a month to show your support for the podcast, hey, it's just $5 too. So with that being said, let's dive in. 
Let's dive into this. I'm gonna start in the blue area. Look over here on the left side of my screen. This is my new template, okay? So okay. I'm gonna be starting, as a matter of fact, not in the blue, in this yellow area. I gotta highlight it yellow. Okay, here we go. Both the reading and the lecture are about the Tyrannosaurus, can't even spell the goddamn name, Rex. A giant dinosaur known for its slashing attacks and massive biting force. <laughs> you know what's funny? Was that in the introduction? Nope. I remember <laughs> the end. So I just put it in there because I'm talking about biting force and slashing attacks. That's a parallel structure. So that is what I can't spell Tyrannosaurus worth the shit. I'm just going to copy. I'm done. Okay. So anyways, I'm copying it. I'm done with that. That's ridiculous. Okay. So after that, now I'm going to go into the blue part. All right. And so this is going to be the big template that you're going to be using. The author of the reading passage states his argument by stating that there is empirical evidence that surrounds the mysteries of how the dinosaurs use their arms, leaving researchers puzzled. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna stop right there. What do you think? That's sexy. <laughs> 